So we're gonna walk through a maneuver called the Cassani Maneuver. And this is a maneuver that can be used for lateral canal BPPV cupulolithiasis variant. So the theory here is that the debris, the autoconia, is adhered to the cupula or on the utricular side of the cupula. So what you'll see here during a roll test is you'll see ageotrophic nystagmus, which means that you'll see nystagmus beating away from the ground in a, right, in a roll test. So if we're doing a left roll test, you'll see right beating nystagmus. In a right, uh, in a right roll test, you'll see left beating nystagmus, so away from the ground. The difference between uh, cupulothiasis and canalothiasis is that in canalothiasis you have free floating debris. After a period of time, the debris will settle down and the vertigo will stop. In cupulothiasis, often the patient gets very, very nauseous because you'll keep them in that sideline position and the vertiginous episode will not subside, nor will the nystagmus. So if we do that, if we do. If we have deduced that there is a cupulolithiasis lateral canal variant, uh, we can select a maneuver called the Cassani. And this maneuver should be very brisk and forceful because in theory we're trying to uh, free the debris from the cupula. So let's assume here that Cassie has a left-sided cupulolithiasis variant BPPV. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, firmly put the put some pressure on the patient to make sure make sure they feel very stable. And I'm going to say one, two, three, go. And on go, Cassie, you're going to go very quickly down right onto that left side. So we're going onto the side of the involved ear. So we're going to go one, two, three, go. Good. Okay. I like putting a little pillow there. All right. We're going to stay in this position for about one to two full minutes. Okay. After two full minutes, right, or as long as the patient can tolerate, really, because if they, because keep in mind here, the nystagmus is not going to stop, right? From this position, we're then going to rotate down into the table. Okay, we're going to go about 45 degrees down into the table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my hand position. I'm going to bring one hand underneath. I'm going to remove the pillow, and we're going to go one, two, three, rotate, and we're going to go right down into the table. Okay. We're gonna always keep your hands on the patient. I like one on the head, one on the shoulder. We're gonna stay in this position for about another one to two minutes. I prefer two minutes for the Cassani maneuver. All right. After two minutes, we wanna, again, readjust our hand position. And then we're gonna sit the patient back up into sitting. Okay, come on up. Good, and then straight now. Okay, and always put both hands on the shoulder. Make sure the patient is not having any uh, vertiginous episode after we're done. And always monitor signs and symptoms.